What's up, family? So, January, 47 degrees. That's not bad. Kind of windy today, but heading to the barbershop right now, kind of wolfing. I got a meeting tomorrow with a client, so let's do this. Haircut, nice and shaved, ready for tomorrow. Meet up this client. So we have an appointment with a client. Prepare yourself the day before. Make sure you have your price chart, your catalog, and your samples all ready. And make sure you got a haircut. And when it comes to dress code, just have a polo with your logo on it. Let's head to the shop. Today's topic is about mesh count. So let's get started. Let's talk about mesh counts. Mesh counts is the size of the mesh on the screen. They start from 40 all the way to 305. Uh, this is a 86. I'm gonna tell you the ones that I use. I use an 86 or 110 or 160 or 230 and a 305. Let's talk about the 86. What do I use for an 86? Well, 86 is good for puffing, metallic, something like this. Something like this one over here, that's a metallic. Um, shimmering, you want that shimmer, those little small particles to go through the hole, you do that on a 230, you ain't gonna get no shimmer through there. And it's also good for people that are looking to do a cold peel and hot peel plastisol transfer papers, where you need to deposit a lot of ink on that sheet in order for you to take it to the heat press and pre and press it on the shirt and you won't you get all the detail on that ink you're gonna need something like an 86 the other one we're talking about is the 110 the 110 is the is for regular artwork uh, with average detail something like this over here regular artwork little average details perfect especially when you're using white ink you want that white ink to um, the opacity you want that on a shirt um, the other one is the 160 mesh. The 160 mesh is for semi-detail artwork and large halftones. I also have learned to use that 160 for something like this, an underbase. I use it for the underbase because I'm layering another ink on top of it and I don't want it to feel so rough. I want it to make that print as smooth as possible when it comes to plastisol ink. So what I do is I print on a 160, put the other base, and then the ink on top is a 230 mesh. So 230 mesh is for very detailed artwork and half tones. That's the one you're gonna use, these half tones detail. The 230 mesh is the one for that. But I'm also doing the 230, like I said, to lay your ink on top of another ink. You wanna lay your ass less ink on that shirt as possible so you use a 230 to cover it up the other one is the 305 the 305 mesh is, is for four color process simulating process cmyk something like this here where you're gonna have a lot of colors on top of each other to blend you need a 305 this is a 230 and this is the 305 very, the, the holes are so 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 small you don't even see it. so if you're looking for to get a screens that you're gonna usually use I'll recommend the 86 the 110 the 160 the 230 and 305 and get four screens of each and you're set you're set to get started go get those clients get printing, and if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. May God bless you all. Be grateful and peace out.